it's such a wonderful feeling to create something that has, has some soul in it. They really are magnificent. The males are so photogenic, they're, they're wonderful to take. This is a huge, a huge herd, and very small herd of white buffalo, but a huge herd of buffalo, around 300 buffalo out here. Yeah, I have a telephoto lens, and I can get up pretty, pretty close in to them, to their faces, and get details. This is so peaceful up here. It's just so beautiful. It's really its own destiny. That's the closest I've been to. I needed to come down here and get a recording on what the females look like. Ooh, and then make her beautiful. Okay, this is a very, very important picture because it, it just so happens that the baby posed for me kindly and is in the same position as my baby's in in my, in my clay. So that was kind of neat that that happened. That's just a happy accident. <laughs> I'm working on this piece with the Buffalo Mama, which is called the cow, and her calf. This mama is a mature cow, so I want to make sure that I've got as much as development in her as I can possibly show because it makes it a more interesting piece. I've always liked taking things that are from our past, our history, and the buffalo has a, such a long history with America. We almost lost them. They almost became extinct. So it's wonderful now that people are taking and preserving them for our great-great-grandchildren to see, too. I'm going to try and get a little bit beyond uh, this guy that's standing up here. I literally use up to 100 pictures for reference points. Anytime an artist can go on site of what they're trying to sculpt, it's going to be a better, better sculpture. So that's what experience kind of comes in handy. Because I, I do kind of have an idea of what this is going to look like when it's patinaed. Even with his massive shoulders, it gives you a portraiture of something with strength and power. And they had to be able to run from uh, humans on horseback and be able to fight back, fight for their herd. Or back to the back. I just happen to like doing the moms and the babies. I, to me, it's the birth of something new. Not often can you say you've got a job that you truly, truly love and can make a living at it. Usually it's the second thing you do in life that's your pleasure.